I got four barrels I'm going to use, these 55 gallon drums. They're food grade barrels, so I'm not going to be using them for drinking water or anything, but I will be using them to water my garden. Um, I got the open top ones, the ones where you get the bands with the lids. I thought they'd be a little easier to work on. Uh, let's see, I drilled, I drilled a 7 8 hole down, down there. Um, probably should have used a 15 16 but I didn't have one, so I drilled a 7 8 and then, and then filed it out a little bit, which was real good because uh, when I use this piece here, I don't know, there he goes, um, it threads right into that plastic, so the actual threads will actually cut right in. Um, and then I bought a little O-ring to slip on that. So um, I'm going to put that down in the hole just like that and screw it in and thread it in. And then on the other side, when I flip it over, I will use this piece here. It's got a threaded side, and then I'll connect my pipes to it like that. I've already done these three barrels. I'm going to go ahead and glue this together. And I'm using uh, this Christie's Red Hot Blue Glue. It's a one-stage PVC glue, so you don't have to you know, worry about the primer and then the blue. And when you guys are doing this, um, try not to put on so much glue that you get these great big bubbles leaking out and drips down the side. That glue really, it burns right into that PVC, and you can cause weak, weak spots in your pipe if you have too, too much excess of glue. And if you can see on the inside, I don't know if you can see it in there, but just a real thin line of glue is all you want. You don't want a big old mess, you know, dripping down the side of your pipe. So that's just something to keep in mind. I mean, it's not that big a deal if you if you get a big drip. Like you can see, I got a little excess over there. But you know, just try and keep it under control. Just a little tip. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to attach this threaded piece to my hose bib before I put it on the pipe. That way, when I put when I glue this piece with this attached to the pipe, I'll have this. Um, standing up st straight like I want it. So I just thought I'd mention that real quick. Here's a look at my uh, newly installed rain barrel system. I uh, leveled out the ground. I put down a thin layer of sand to help me out with the blocks. Uh, two cinder blocks tall on each barrel. So there's a 16 cinder blocks. I think they were about a buck fifty each, so not too much money there. Um, and then I went with this uh, manifold system. I saw it in another YouTube video, so I thought that looked like the best best idea to me. That way you get uh, one source of water from my roof down into the barrel, and then that barrel, the weight of the water will uh, disperse among all four barrels. So. I took a little video of while I was filling the first barrel up with a hose, um, you could see the water coming in from the bottom of these four barrels. All right, here's a, a test. I'm adding water with my hose. It's going down through that pipe. And as you can see, it's coming up through these pipes. So these barrels will fill with just the weight of the water from the first one pushing it down and then they'll all level out to the same level. Um, I think I am going to eventually when I need to drain these, they're full of water or halfway full of water now, but um, I'm gonna compress them all together so they're they're within the eight foot fence panel I have back there so that I can surround it with another fence panel and then I don't have to see them. Because uh, they're pretty functional but they're not very attractive so if you care about what your your yard looks like and whatever, four of these barrels um, will fit within an eight foot section. So you can get your four by four on one end, your four by four on the other end, and then an eight foot section, and then you can totally surround the barrels. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm also probably going to put down some weed fabric and then backfill this. I plan on putting in some gravel path around the house anyway. So this will all be installed for when I do that. Um, as far as the gutter system is pretty pretty easy. Just went and bought some extra parts and plumbed it over. Had this this piece here is all flexible. wasn't ex It's not exactly pretty, but it's functional. Um, didn't have a great idea for a 
for a net, so I just had some mesh fabric and I stuck that in there. Should work pretty good until I figure out something better. But it's a nice snug fit, should keep most of the bugs out. Um, and then in each one of these lids, I don't know if you can see it, but I drilled a small hole. Uh, and what that is for is while the barrels are filling, I don't want it to build up pressure. And while they're emptying, I don't want it to build up a vacuum. So I think that small hole is plenty, in, plenty enough. I don't think, you know, I'm going to be draining these so fast that it needs a bigger hole than that. Um, this third barrel I did not drill a hole in the top of because eventually I'm going to put an overflow spout probably right here or on this side depending on uh, where I want to drain my water to but you know once your once your four barrels are full and it's still raining um, you need that overflow to go somewhere um, so if I up there at the gutter I have it's about a two inch two inch opening in the bottom of the gutter um, so I want to have the same size opening on my overflow I see a lot of people have these little tiny garden hose overflows and I just don't think that's enough because I mean your your overflow should be as the same as your inflow size same size diameter anyway uh, and then I just got a cheapy hose bib and I'll turn it on and let you guys see the pressure yeah. I mean, it's not going to run a sprinkler system or anything, but plenty for water for, you know, filling up a, a couple of buckets or letting the kids play in it or water in the garden. That's what I'm going to be using it for mainly, hopefully. Anyway, that's my system, and uh, let me know what you guys think or if you have any suggestions.